What's good, yo? It's your boy Spiritual Neasy back with another video brought to you by the Holy Spirit, man. Now, in today's video, I got to come clean, man. I got to come clean. I messed up, y'all. I really did. I fell short of the glory of God, man. And I apologize to y'all, to myself and to God. You know, I already apologized and repented of my sins, but, you know, uh, and I'm not wearing these sunglasses because I'm scared to look y'all in the eye. This is just because the sun is in my eye and I want to be able to look at y'all. But listen, uh, in all seriousness, man, I fell short of the glory of God last night. And no, it wasn't me masturbating. It wasn't me having sex with a physical person that I wasn't married to. But I released my seed. I released my energy, man. It felt like a relapse, bro. I'm telling y'all. So let me explain to y'all exactly what happened. So in this wet dream that happened, it was in a wet dream. However, this dream was different, y'all. I'm telling you. Now, wet dreams is something we're going to go through on semen retention. This is just normal. It's going to happen. But this wet dream, it was like I had full control over my actions and my thoughts and what I did in the dream. It's like, it, I don't know if y'all can understand what I'm saying, but like, it's like I was in a dream, but I felt like I was controlling myself in the dream, like physically. Right. And so let me explain how this all started, man. So last night I was scrolling on TikTok and now listen, usually TikTok is good for me. Like it's not demonic. Like my for you page is just filled with Christian stuff and motivational stuff. However, there was an ad that I scrolled upon, man. And this ad started the whole thing. I saw this dating ad, man. And there was a woman on it that just triggered me, man. She triggered my lust, bro. She triggered it. She set it off. So I saw this ad. And it's almost like the evil desires that were in the back of my head that have been suppressed for so long because I've been so focused on God and I've been so, you know, far from the from entertaining my lust. It's like when I saw the ad, it brought all the evil desires from the back of my head or you could say from the bottom of my spirit and it just shot it up to the forefront. And now the lust, the fornicating was on the front of my mind. The fornicating became what my heart wanted in the moment instead of God. And see, this is why, you know, I, I seen a pastor on TikTok, Billy Graham said, when you flee, the moment you flee from the presence of God, you're in trouble, man. You are in trouble. And the mistake I made was I tried to fight this temptation on my own. I tried to fight the thought myself instead of running away from it and giving it to the almighty God and letting God, you know, handle the temptation. So don't be like me, you know, but see, when I fell short, what happened was I was fornicating in my mind with this woman until I fell asleep. Now, I tried to run. As soon as I saw the ad, I swiped up and, and I got in my, I immediately opened my Bible and started reading Matthew. However, when I was reading the word, the thought was still on my mind of having sex with this woman. It was still on my mind while I'm reading the word. And another and another reason I know this was Satan and it was spiritual warfare is because as I was reading the word, my head would start to ache. I'm, bro, I'm not even joking. I promise y'all this is all really what happened. My head would start to ache as I opened up the Bible. But then when I would close it, my head was like fine. Like I was OK. I know that sounds so like fake, but I, I promise y'all, man, God is my witness. This is what was happening last night. Intense spiritual warfare. And see, let me tell y'all, Satan don't play fair, bro. Satan is a cheater because this morning I, I, I tested it out. I turned off the ad. I turned off, you know, um, the preference for that ad to pop up. I turned it off. So I turned the setting completely off. Five minutes later, the same ad from the same site that I just turned the setting off popped up. How is that possible, bro? How is it possible that this ad that I just turned off can pop up when I turned the setting off? That's Satan. Satan is everywhere, man. Even on YouTube shorts the other day, I seen one of those, y'all know those videos them girls be making, you know, where they like flash the screen for like a millisecond of them like with nothing on, like fully naked except for like a bikini. And, and then it's back to like them dressed. Like y'all know those type of videos. I literally was on YouTube shorts, bro. I was on YouTube and I seen this, bro. Like this man, Satan is everywhere. He's on the billboards. He's on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Snapchat. 
This man, Satan, is the God of this world, bro. And that's what I truly realized last night, man. I realized that I cannot operate in this world without God. Because if I choose to flee from the presence of God, Satan will become my father. Because our natural desires of our flesh want to do the things that go against God. Our natural desires of our flesh want to do the things of Satan. Fornicating, drugs, alcohol, uh, uh, gluttony, greed, envy. All, uh, this is all natural for us. The only way that we can be renewed from these desires is through God. God, Jesus Christ is the way. Jesus Christ is the truth. Jesus Christ is the light. Without Jesus, there is no light. It's just darkness. So the moment that you decide to flee from the presence of Jesus Christ, the moment that you choose your flesh over God is the moment that you have given yourself over to Satan. And now he's playing with you like a little ball in his hands, right? Satan knew my trigger last night. He knew it. He knew what would trigger me. And he, sh and he popped that ad up in my eyes. He, 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 he purposely set that ad up. He set me up for failure, man. You know, and I only blame myself. It was my fault. You know, it was my fault. Satan set the trap and I fell in it. I fell in it, man. I was fornicating in my mind with this woman until I fell asleep. And then when I fell asleep, I had the wet dream. And the succubus demon that took my semen in the wet dream was the same woman. I saw her face. I saw her body. It was literally the same woman from that ad that I was fornicating in my mind with until I fell asleep. And it was like when I was in the dream fornicating, it's like, bro, I, I promise y'all, it felt like I could control what I was doing in the dream. It felt like I could control my actions and my thoughts. It felt like I purposely went against God. And guys, my spirit, man, my spirit wanted so bad to choose God. My spirit, this is why the Bible says the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak, man. We got to kill the flesh, bro. Because it's like I was calling out to God. I was saying, God, I want to choose you. My spirit and my soul deeply desires you. But my flesh and my mind is telling me fornicate with this woman. My flesh and my mind is telling me to go with Satan. But my, my spirit, man, my spirit wanted God so bad. I was almost crying out to my Lord and Savior, man. So, you know, I'm telling y'all, bro, I felt like Peter. I felt like Peter. When he was on the boat, when they were in the storm and, and, and Jesus was walking on the water, he told the storm to shush. And Jesus started walking on water and he told Peter to come on. I felt like Peter. Peter started walking. He was focused on God. As soon as the storm hit, the temptation for me, and then... It took Peter's focus off of God for a split second and he fell in the water and he drowned or he fell in the water. and He started sinking and then God picked him up. Jesus picked him up. When I was on the ad, my focus was off of Jesus. When I was watching that ad, my focus completely forgot about Jesus completely. And I fell just like Peter, man, just like Peter. I'm telling y'all, bro, this spiritual warfare is so real, man. If you don't. If you're not aware of the spiritual realm and the demons and the, and, and the angels and the spirits all around us, man, if you're not aware of that by now, you're lost, bro. I'm telling you, you're going to get lost in the sauce, bro. Y'all better catch on. Y'all better learn from this little testimony I'm giving y'all, man. I remembered when I woke up, Proverbs chapter 24, verse 16, a righteous man will fall seven times and get his ass back up, man. Excuse my language, but I'm telling y'all, if you fall, when you fall, because it's going to happen. And I'm not trying to, you know, pray on y'all downfall, but this is just going to happen. We're human. When you fall, get back up. Please, for the love of God, get back up. When I woke up this morning, the first thing I did was get in my word, bro. The first thing I did was get in my word. I automatically started feeling stronger. The, and then after that, I'm fasting right now. I'm currently on a fast because I still feel guilty about falling short last night. I feel stronger. Spiritually, I feel stronger, bro. I prayed to God. I repented. I asked God to forgive me. The Bible says when you, when you repent, when you truly repent, God will truly forgive you, right? We must confess our sins before the Lord, and he will forgive us, man. So I confess my sins, you know. I, I repented of my actions that felt so real. It, it, I truly felt like I betrayed the Lord, and I repented. And I know that Jesus will forgive me. But guys, I'm telling y'all, please take heed to this video. Main message from this video, y'all. Do not flee from the presence of God. Run from lust like Joseph. Cut off the distractions. The only reason I have TikTok 
is because I post my clips on there, right? I don't have TikTok just to endlessly scroll. I use it to post my clips and this ad just happened to pop up and I, and, and I just happened to fall short to Satan, you know? So whatever your triggers are, learn your triggers, you know? Understand what distracts you, understand your distractions and cut it off, cut it out, get away from it, run far away from it and, and run to God, man. Get in the presence of the Lord. We have to stay in the presence of the Lord. The Lord is the reason why we are we can step on the head of the serpent, right? The Bible says that he gives us the authority to step on the head of the serpent, but it's up to us to do so. And the only way that we can do so is if our faith is in Jesus Christ, is if we put our power, if we rely on our power from Jesus, the same Holy Spirit that rose Christ from the dead is the same Holy Spirit living within us that will give us the ability to step on Satan. Step on Satan, bro. With the moment that you choose Satan in your mind and you choose to fornicate or you choose to masturbate or you choose to get drunk or you choose to overeat or you choose to hate your neighbor or you choose to not walk in love but in lust, the moment you've made up your mind that that's what you want to do is the moment that Satan has you and you are now betraying your Lord, right? But it's crazy because when you fall, God is, is he has his hand. He's like, come on, come on, my son, come on, my daughter, get back up. All you have to do is get back up, y'all. I'm making this video to encourage y'all and to, and to help y'all not make the mistake that I did. Do not try to fight it on your own. And when you get tempted, run as fast as you can away from lust. Call out to God to help you and get busy, man. And, and if it's too strong, you know, and you, and you fall short, you fell short. So what? Get back up. <laughs> get back up. Don't listen to Satan. Don't, don't fall into calamity. Like it says in Proverbs, don't fall into calamity and, and start swimming and getting comfortable in your sin. Get back up and get back on the righteous narrow path and start back fighting for God and regaining your strength that you just had. You literally just had it. I literally feel myself getting stronger in the spirit as I'm preaching the gospel to y'all. I feel myself getting stronger in the spirit as I'm staying busy and praying and repenting and reading the word today. I feel myself getting stronger. I feel myself renewing my strength. So, you know, I love y'all so much. I encourage all of y'all, my brothers and sisters in Christ, to stay connected to the vine. We have to stay connected to the vine because Jesus is the vine and we are the branches and our actions are, are, the, are the fruit. So, you know, 1 Corinthians says, you know a tree by its fruit. Okay. We know a human by his actions, by their actions. So what are your actions displaying? Are your actions displaying that you love your flesh more than God? Or are your actions displaying that you love God more than anything in this world, which you should, which will lead you to your full potential, which will help, which will allow the Lord to exalt you above the enemy. Okay. Stay connected to the vine. Run like Joseph. Cut out the distractions. Stay in prayer. This is the only way to stay connected to the vine is stay in prayer, fast, get in the word, man. Those three ways, stay busy and cut out the distractions. Cut out the distractions, man. I'm telling y'all, that's the only way you're going to be successful. Okay. So, you know, I wouldn't say that this is the end of my semen retention journey. I still believe that I'm still going strong and I know I'm still going strong, you know, 200 something days, but I felt like I fell short of the glory of God. And, you know, as long, I feel like it was a warning. As long as I don't let that happen in the physical realm, I'm good. But, man, you know, it's a tough battle, bro. It's so, it's so impossible to do without Jesus. It's so impossible. Our flesh will not win alone, man. So, you know. 200 something days i'm probably closer to 250 by now on semen retention and this wet dream scared me the most this wet dream hit home man this this is this is this one was different this one was different bro but you know i'm getting up and i'm fighting for god you know so i encourage y'all to do the same you know when you know when when the enemy gets you to fall 
Don't let him, you know, continue to stand over you. Get back up and, and get back connected to God and you will renew the strength that you have, man. So that's all I got for this video. If you enjoy, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. Till next time, it's been your boy Neezy. I love y'all, man. I'm out, bro. Peace.